is National HIV, AIDS, and Aging Awareness Day. And here to talk about the virus and how it affects the lives of middle Georgia is Dr. Harold Kapner from the Medical Center of Central Georgia and Mercer School of Medicine as well. So good morning to you, Dr. Kapner. Um, so you have a history of studying HIV AIDS. Can you just talk about your history just for a quick second? Sure. I started back in 1983 in New Orleans, and I got here in 85 and been working here ever since. So. All right. So HIV and AIDS, as most people know, is a virus, and it affects many different races, culture, and it basically claims the lives of, of, of many. It doesn't have uh, discrimination. That's true. Um, can you start by giving us a few statistics um, about the, uh, the virus and how it relates to middle Georgians? Well, in the middle of Georgia, we're diagnosing about one new case every four days. Um, and one, every, I'd say every four to three to four days. We've been at that n number probably last five or six years. And uh, we're seeing a lot of young people. We just diagnosed a baby that was born to oh, an wow. eighth grader. Now, this is an eighth grader in Bibb County school system um, to deliver a positive baby. So we're seeing a range from, you know, teenagers all the way up through people in their 70s and 80s. My oldest patient just died at, at age 81. Wow. And um, there are other parts of the state. We, we had four, I think, cases out of one of the Dublin high schools um, about three three years ago. So we're seeing, again, all this these problems still in our youth, which is a big issue. Are you seeing an, an increase at all? Is it well, declining? It, is it increasing? I, my, my gut feeling, it's, it's stable. Um, however, we're seeing a lot of pregnant, new pregnant women with it, which surprises me. I've probably seen about 15 in the last three weeks. Um, and a lot of them are being diagnosed at the time they're pregnant. The, the numbers, again, vary, but but it's still an average of about one to th four, every, every, uh, new, new case every one, uh, three to four days. So moving on, being that it is an awareness day today, what's the message that you want to send for people who don't deal with this disease and this virus? Well, those numbers are very high. If you look at our statistics, the South by far has the newest numbers of cases, has the highest rate of cases in the entire country. We're, we're higher than, than, Sam, than California, basically. And a lot of it's because of lack of education. We, we have lost, um, uh, Houston County has an awesome education program. Bibb County has, has had issues. I mean, this eighth grader knew nothing about how she picked this infection up. So if we're not being aggressive with uh, educating our youth, even as young as seventh and eighth grade, you know, how can they understand what this is? They don't understand the, the way it's transmitted. They don't understand the consequence of the disease. I mean, they see on television all the people having sex, but they don't see the consequences. Now, before we wrap up real quick, I just want to know, what is the future of the treatments for HIV and AIDS? Well, the treatments are great. I mean, I've, as I said, I just lost my oldest patient. She died of old age, not old AIDS, uh, because the medicines are very, very strong and they're very potent, but they're very expensive. You know, we're talking about twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year. So it's, it's an issue of, yes, the, the medicines will keep you, you, you live a normal life, but can you afford it? And that's a big, big issue. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Katner, for mm -hmm. being here. And we appreciate you talking about this. To our viewers at home, we cannot stress the importance of knowing your HIV and AIDS status. And for more information, we encourage you to talk to your doctors or visit local clinics. Stay with us.